Gunsight modes. There are a number of attack types you can make in Spy DNA. I have two NPCs who will assist us in the demonstration here. To open the gun sight, I simply click on an enemy NPC and select the default action. Note, you don't have to wait for the options to appear. A quick click will select the default option. When the gun sight opens, it defaults to aimed fire. An aim shot is intended to attack a single target with accuracy. On the left, you'll see additional information, such as the range to target, how long you would spend aiming, and how much ammunition you currently have. In addition, at the bottom, the information about how effective your current weapon would be and the range to target is highlighted here in the green. In the center, you see these circles. These represent where your shots are likely to go. 50% of your shots will land in this center circle, 90% would land in the middle circle, and 99% would land in the outer circle. If you want to spend more time aiming, you can either use the mouse wheel or you can adjust the slider. The more time spent, the more accurate your shot will be. However, that also leaves more times for the enemy to shoot back. In addition, on the right of the image, for aim shot, you'll see these options here. These tell you what your shot is likely to hit. What this is telling me is the shot should hit a person, and then we'll continue on to hit some kind of barrier, in this case, this ground in the background. In addition, you can select how you want to shoot. Single shot fires one shot at a time and will re-aim to whatever accuracy you have selected before firing additional shots. Burst fire, in this case you can see three round bursts because there's three rounds on each line, will re-aim between each burst is fired, but the second and third shots of those bursts may be fired with less accuracy. And on full auto, you will have your accuracy for the initial shot but the accuracy will degrade as the shot continues, assuming a weapon with recoil. But let's look at some of the other attack types. If I just wanted to aim, but not actually fire the shot, I could select aim. What this will do is allow your character to start accumulating aim time on the target, but if you then later need to fire that shot, you can click on the target, select aim shot, and all the time you spent aiming up to that point will be counted towards the accuracy of that shot, allowing you to get off a very accurate attack very quickly later. Quick shot. This is to essentially draw your weapon and fire as fast as you can. It has very poor accuracy, so this will only work at very close range. In addition, we have an area attack mode and this would be useful in a case like this where there's two potential targets or you just want to saturate an area with gunfire. This defaults to full auto if your weapon is capable of that, otherwise it will use burst or single shot, assuming you will be firing as rapidly as you can. You can adjust the aim point, up, down, left, right. In addition, you can adjust the area in which the shot's going to go and how much uh, vertical area you want to spray. Suppression is basically the same thing. The difference is instead of filling the area with as much fire as you can, suppression will fire intermittently with the intent of keeping the enemy's heads down. And the last option is Overwatch. Uh, you set the area in the same way as the other two. However, in this case, your character will take aimed attacks on whatever targets appear in that area until either you cancel the action or until they've exhausted their ammunition. So let's actually execute an aimed attack here. So in this case, I'm going to aim, let's say a second and a half. I'll move the target point to a slightly different area. And you can see this thing will show you different parts that will be hit depending on what I'm aiming at. Uh, let's switch and do burst fire, and we'll do two bursts. And with that, the target is down. Ooh, missed the vest. This should give you a good understanding of our gun sight mechanism. Please enjoy the game, and thank you for watching.